What's going on everybody? Jeremy here and today we're kicking off our project Ladybird. This is a 1984 Firebird project that we've got here in the shop. A lot of sentimental value and a lot of years on this thing. To give you more details on this, we're going to start this video actually with my buddy Matt Walter. He's the one who put the drivetrain in it. If you haven't checked out his channel, Matt Walter, he's got a 90 RS Camaro, uh, naturally aspirated 6 liter. It, it's a low 9 second car. It's freaking awesome. If you're a motor person, love drag racing, love go fast stuff, check out Matt's channel. Uh, matter of fact, I'll put it in the description here below. But Matt sat down and in his garage there in front of the car and I asked him, I was like, look, just, just give some background about the car. You know, the stuff that I don't know about, stuff that I may, I may not remember, because we worked on this car 14, 15 years ago, something like that. So I asked Matt to do it. We're going to put that footage in here just to give you a little bit of background and then we're going to show you the car and give you a walk around. Take care, guys. The car is a 1984 Pontiac Firebird. We bought the car in 2008 from a friend of mine that it was just his fun toy um, and he was he put a 350 in it with a 700R4 and put some wheels on it and a nice paint job and but uh, it kind of got into some disrepair so I got a really good deal on it, it didn't run real well uh, when I got it uh, I got a really good deal on it and I I wanted to buy it actually to flip it, so that's that's how we ended up with the car. Um, I guess fast forward uh, a little bit, um, I'd replaced all of the the damaged uh, body parts, uh, uh, two fenders, uh, front bumper cover, the uh, I guess the headlights had gotten kind of mangled too, and um, mechanically I got the car working really well. Um, so again, just 350 with a 700 R4, it was, but it was super reliable. It got pretty decent mileage for what it was, but we put, uh, we put the body panels on and, uh, it was mismatched, uh, it had red fenders, the rest of the car was blue. Um, and I was good with it. I made it, I made the car reliable and easy and fun to drive and I was ready to sell it. Um, my dad uh, started driving the car a little bit. My mom started driving the car a little bit and they fell in love with the car and they wanted to buy it. So uh, it worked out really well because it meant that the car could kind of stick around and I could keep playing with it. But it also made uh, my end goal possible, which was to buy my wife a wedding ring. After some time, uh, my mom and dad driving it around with uh, two colors on it, uh, my, my wife, uh, and I uh, and Jeremy got together and decided that we were going to paint the car uh, for them. And uh, so we spent a lot of late nights and uh, uh, working on it at my shop and then uh, in Georgia. And uh, then we got up to uh, where Jeremy was painting cars at the time and, and, and got the car painted. Um, and then, and it was, it was awesome. It turned out amazing. It was exactly what we wanted. It was, uh, I believe we, we did an indigo blue metallic. It was a GM color. Um, so I liked it cause it flopped green. And the previous color that was on it, I have no idea what it was, but it, it was a dark blue and it flopped purple and I didn't like that. Just crazy life events. <laughs> we ended up, uh, we ended up with the car for a while. I think actually six years i think is how long i ended up with the car but uh while the car was in my possession uh what we did was we we ditched the 350 uh and the 700 r4 and the carburetor and all that uh and i put a a very budget oriented uh 4.8 liter ls with a 4l60e um and you know again this is this car is for my my mother drives it mostly you know, it doesn't have to be a powerhouse or a screamer, um, but it does have, you know, 345s and a Fozzie unit in it. Um, I, it's got a Magnaflow exhaust system on it. It's a fun car. Um, so all, all said and done, um, I got the car together and I actually ran the car. I ran 1380s or 70s, which is way faster than my, you know, 65 year old mother needs, but um, I mean, she likes to, you know, be in a sporty car too, so time flies. I bet you it's been 12 or 13 years since we put the paint job on that car. 
at the end of the day, I mean, it was a budget bill, you know, a budget paint job. And so, you know, I think that, you know, it's kicking off some paint here and there. Um, Jeremy knows way better um, about what the deal is than I do. Um, so, but anyways, yeah, I think that, I think that's it. So. And with that guys, we're about to deep dive into this car. Now you're coming along for the ride. You're going to see everything that goes on and, and what we have found so far. And let me tell you, it's just like working on an older car. They all have a story, and we found a lot of story up underneath this. Uh, I'll give you a hint. There's 15 layers that we found as we're stripping this car, just to tie you in there. So uh, we've got footage coming up. You guys are going to enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to give Matt's channel a follow as well, Matt Walter. Uh, I know you guys saw the car sitting behind him, and I know you're going to have questions that I am not going to be able to answer. I'm not a motor guy. I, I don't do that. Give Matt a follow and uh, check out his car. So stay tuned. More's coming.